Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay? So first one, we have the parallel lines. So let me just undo it. Okay, there you go. Now as for parallel lines, these are in geometry, these are just simply lines that will never meet each other. Okay, they will never intersect no matter how long you extend the line. And they are basically just side by side. Magkadikit lang sila here. Okay? Now, when it comes uh, to analytic geometry, okay, um, the definition of per parallel lines are their slopes, uh, they are lines with equal slopes. So, what do I mean by that? If I try to find the slope of this given line, given these two specific points, and this given line also given, even if you extend the points, okay, given these two points, say this is our line L and this is our line M, okay, the slope of this line L, M sub 1, we will denote it as M sub 1. And the slope of this, well, let's change it not M, let's change it to K. I mean, okay. The slope of this uh, line K, let's say we denote it as M sub 2, they would be equal to each other. So meaning, say um, the slope of um, line L is equals to 1, then therefore the slope of M would be equals to 1 as well. So, if it is equals to 1, then m sub 2 must be also equals to 1. Okay? And that is by definition po. Okay? But the thing about this one, and you might confuse it, the slope, only the slopes are the same. Only the slopes are the same. Okay? Or are equal na lang. Kasi we are, yeah. Only the slopes are equal. And not the equation. And not the equation and of course let me just remind you equation po natin of the line would be denoted as the standard form ax plus by is equals to c okay now let's go now to perpendicular lines perpendicular lines are just simply lines and say we have this one they are just simply lines that intersect once at a specific point here and it would create four 90 degrees, yes. apat na 90 degrees, okay? So, let's denote the first line as line L and the other line as line K. As line K, yan. And if we try to look for the slope of this, say, ano, line K, let me just take it from these two points because it would be the same. Say, this is M sub 2 natin. And our line L, say, this is our, the two points that we will be using. This is say um, m sub m sub. Let me change the color. This is m sub one. Let me undo that. Okay, m sub two and m sub one. Okay. So their slopes are yung uh, the one that we have discussed before. Their slopes are actually negative reciprocals. Okay. The slope of m one is equal to negative reciprocal of m sub 2 or ano um, it's not necessarily like that it's yeah. I mean no, no, never mind that so their slopes are negative reciprocals meaning if I want to look for example the slope of um, the slope of m sub 1 is equals to 3 if I want to look for m sub 2 I will just simply have to find the negative reciprocal of this one. Again, it's negative reciprocal. Uh, recipro reciprocal. Okay, so meaning, babalik ta rin ko lang yan. Therefore, my M2 should be negative one-third because this is 3. So, it must be this one. Okay? So, that is the um, definition of the uh, perpendicular lines when it comes to analytic geometry. So then again, let's just have a small recap. The parallel lines will have equal slopes and our perpendicular lines will have negative reciprocal slopes. Okay? So this is very important uh, when it comes to um, finding a specific line that passes through a spe another line and that um, you will be asked, is it, uh, find the line that is perpendicular to that. For example, say we have this given. Just an example. Okay. And this is also important for determining whether the two lines are perpendicular or not. Okay? Or parallel. 
So say we have this line yan. And you are asked, find the line that find the line that is parallel to this specific line L that passes through this specific point. So, so sinasabi sa hanapin mo, look for the line that is parallel to this line L that passes through this specific point, this point P, let's say. It passes through there. So, meaning, you need to find the equation of the line that passes through this point. Okay? And another, in other cases, you need to find the line that is perpendicular that passes through that point. Okay? So, this is very, this concept is very important. This uh, negative reciprocal and equal slopes. Okay? And another thing is, if you are given, say, two points, like, say, two and three, uh, four points, four and five, and we have six and two, and we have seven and four, you will be asked, if you plot these two points, uh, four points, and create two lines, this is your line L and this is your, your line K, you will be asked, are they parallel? This is our symbol for parallel and this is perpendicular. Or are they perpendicular? Okay, so you will be asked that. And how do you find that? By just simply finding the slope. Okay, but we will discuss this one on another video. So hopefully you got the... Um, a little bit of um, introduction or information regarding our introduction about parallel and perpendicular lines. So if you have any other questions, you can go back to the video or you can ask me in our chat box. Thank you again everyone for listening. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.